There is a call to action for parents right now about getting your kids to the dentist. There are many connections between oral health and the health of your whole body. Halloween is coming up, and that is just a that's a that's a, a tough holiday for somebody like Dr. Susan Maples, who is a dentist and wrote the book Brave Parent Raising Healthy, Happy Kids Against All Odds in today's world. Dr. Maples. Give us your sugar story. How bad is it for Halloween? Thank you so much. Yeah, how do you think I feel about a holiday that's celebrating candy? Um, it's not good for your mouth. Of course, we all know that it feeds the cavity bugs. We tell kids that bugs eat the sugar and literally pee on your teeth. So oh, they yeah. dump acid on your teeth and we get lots and lots of tooth decay as a result of, of, of uh, candy and sodas and other sugary things but also it's really bad for metabolic health so it's really directly influencing um, weight gain obesity insulin resistance pre-diabetes diabetes heart disease and other cardiovascular disease so yeah i'm not a big fan well yeah sugar is the enemy we know that but yeah. all the parents watching right now saying but come on it's you know, know. It's, a, it's a fun thing the kids put on their little costumes and run around and they have a bag of candy to eat for a week or more uh, so so what give us take give us some practical advice about that some good some good tips if you're gonna eat sugar probably should eat them with uh with like a source of anti-karyogenic anti-cavity stuff like nuts but also you know get rid of it after a few days when they start to lose interest you know give them a few pieces in this and that, then give it away or throw it away just a little just bit of time your house. and then i've yep. heard that milk can counteract um, yes, I think milk, milk can. Thing? Of course, you have to watch, uh, you know, dairy sensitivities and things like that. I think milk and cheese and nuts and things like that can help. Brushing teeth afterwards when you're, you know, getting candy and the sticky grooves of the teeth can help. And definitely no candy within an hour of bedtime because you really stop salivating at night and then we really have an acid environment during the day. Oh. And limiting the frequency. So if they're going to have it, have it like, you know, as a dessert with dinner, not as a snack between meals. Again, those snacks between meals should definitely not be sugary ones. Okay, okay, good, good tips. Now, let's, um, th this whole, um, I, I love this line that you have, which is the mouth is a tattletale, uh, meaning that yes. your oral health is directly connected to everything, <laughs> everything else. Yes. A explain, often, that, explain that a bit. Well, we're often hearing on the news about how oral disease manifests itself in the rest of the body, chronic inflammation and bugs leaking through your gums into other areas of the body, all that's big time true. But what we also know is that other diseases manifest themselves in the mouth. For instance, diabetes, the very first sign of diabetes shows up in the mouth. So does obstructive sleep apnea and acid reflux and its impact on the teeth and, and, and the list goes on and on. So I could name, I could name dozens of um, conditions and problems that if we know how to look in the mouth and use them, it's a great tattletale. Unfortunately, the medical professions really don't learn how to navigate the mouth in medical school. So they don't use the mouth as a diagnostic tool. Hmm. Part of my job is to help educate the physicians and dentists across the aisle so we can work collaboratively to solve problems at the root cause by recognizing some of the telltale signs in the mouth. Wow, that's why it's so important to go to the dentist twice it a is. year, right? Well, yes, there isn't great evidence that twice a year is the real answer. That was established by a Pepsi commercial way back before we have we ever did evidence based. Some people need it more frequently and some less, okay. you know, for preventive reasons, depending on the significance of all that's going on. So I would really ask your dentist and hygienist, how how often should I be seen? What's appropriate? And work with them for not just prevention, but disease treatment in the mouth. So you can have a really healthy, healthy mouth without gum disease, without cavities. I mean, this is very possible to have a very stable uh, oral environment by looking at the microbes and fixing, you know, that whole shift. Well, you, uh, you have, you're so passionate about this and that, that's why you've written the, the one book that I had mentioned. And then you have a, another book now as well. What's the name of that one? That was my first book. It was called Blabbermouth, 77 Secrets. Only your mouth can tell you to live a healthier, happier, sexier life. And if you want to look at all the tattletale ways that the mouth is a predictor of all of these things, definitely read that. It's written for the public. It's written for you. Um, I think we've sold 9,000 copies to uh, dental health professionals wow. as well. So it's a great communication tool for dental offices to learn how to communicate these things to you. So that one and the Brave Parent book for, uh, for all the rest of us, 
uh, raising healthy, happy kids. Um, yeah, against all against odds. All odds. World. Yes, yes, it is. It is against the odds. Uh, so yeah. beabraveparent.com is where you can go uh, for more about, uh, about Dr. Susan. But just keep in mind what she said about about the trick or treat candy. You know, if if they really are uh, done with it, you think just you say just just hide it away or just get rid of it. I know. It's, it's a really good t I teaching know. time to talk to kids about the impact of sugar on their body and how we should be looking for hidden sugars. And sugar's not good for us, although it tastes good. And oh. it's it's a it's a cheat, not a treat. That, How's that? Okay. Oh, okay. We'll end with that. A cheat, not a treat. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Dr. Susan Maples, good to have you here again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Always enjoy.